In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear good people, I'm sure you are well. We continue with the 25 days journey for our candidates and the school-going children. Today, we pray for deeper comprehension. Just before I mention what is being done today by the Form 4s, yesterday was the last day that our class 8 students, boys and girls, uh, concluded their papers. Today, they will be going home, those who are boarders. The day scholars already are at home. So allow me to join you and many others to pray for safe travels for our children as they go back to the various destinations. We pray for their moms and dads as they journey with them, those who are traveling to various uh, destinations to pick their kids and as they go back. The drivers will be involved and everybody else. We thank God for the gift of teachers as they take uh, part for the holidays. There's also another group of teachers who are preparing now to go and mark the papers that the classes have already done. So there's a lot of work that is being done. Our teachers, we thank you and we pray for you. We know and we believe that it shall be well. So today, as I have said, eh, today we are praying for deeper comprehension. One of the papers doing, uh, being done today is computer. So we pray for our sons and daughters in Form 4 as they sit for their computer papers. Remember what we said, um, as you enter, you enter in peace, ready for success. That's what we said. You claim the day, claim the paper, and you thank God for the success ahead. Our Kurosha Mass will be about Thanksgiving. In fact, the, the theme for the Kurosha Mass will be celebrating Thanksgiving. So we shall give thanks to God. Today, even in the Bible, the, the Bible reading we have today from Matthew 7, chapter 7 to 12, tells us about prayer and praying consistently. When we pray, and we do it from our hearts. God answers our prayers. And that is what we are doing for you, our sons and daughters. Once upon a time, uh, there was an elderly lady who was a seafarer, or she was in the caravan. And uh, one day, she had, she had asked God to give her for some food. She was very sick. And she was asking God to only give her an orange. Please, God, give me an orange. She knew that uh, with an orange, she would be able to address her ailment. And so, this particular day, she sat on the entrance of the ship where the people would, uh, would pass through. Among the passengers that were coming in, there was an atheist. Or do I call him, uh, uh, um, yeah, an atheist, yeah, not, not a pagan, an atheist, a fellow who didn't believe in the God that she believed in. The reason why the atheist was entering at that point it is because he had heard that there would be some prayers. And he wanted to go and see what Christians pray for. But as he was going in, he carried for himself some two oranges. But as he was entering, he found the frail elderly lady seated uh, on the floor with her both hands extended. But she was deep, in, uh, deep in, in her sleep. Or do we say deep in prayer? He thought that she was asleep. But she was deep in her own world. Lost in her own world. But the hands were like this, open. This man felt pity for this lady. With his compassionate heart, he removed 
the two oranges from his pocket and then placed both of them on the hands of the frail uh, uh, elderly lady. And the man proceeded to secure a seat to wait for the sermon. The sermon was delivered and uh, as he got out, he found the lady smiling and enjoying the oranges. Actually, she was almost finishing the first orange. And this man got a bit concerned because she, he would see the joy this lady was in. And he approached the lady and asked her, Oh, mom, uh, you seem to be so happy eating oranges. She said, Yes, 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 son. Uh, I thank my father. My father is so good. And this atheist told her, No, you are so old to have a living father. She said, No, my father is alive. And he is so good. And this atheist asked, What do you mean? And then she said, You know, I have been seasick. You know what is to be seasick? I have been seasick because of the, of, the, of the, I think, the atmosphere in the sea. I have been sick for some time, seasick for some time. And I have been praying God to only give me an orange. And today, I think I fell asleep in my prayer. But my hands were extended because I know God will answer my prayers. Lo and behold, when I woke up from my prayer, I found that my father had not only given me one orange, actually he had delivered two. You see, that is how my, my father is good. And this atheist was so touched that he actually delivered what the lady had been praying for and that the lady knew the father, God the father, must have sent this man. You know what, men, what, what followed? This man later got converted to become a Christian and he got saved. Story ended. That's how God works. When we go to him, we ask him for something. If we believe and have faith, we will get it. Sometimes we get it immediately. The same design that we want. Sometimes it can come shortly after. Sometimes it can delay. But one thing that I, I want to know today is that God answers prayers. But I need to, to answer a small question that we always ask, why, why are we not able to pray effectively? Or sometimes, why are we not able to pray at all? Allow me to answer that question tomorrow because we need to know why sometimes we are stuck in our prayer life. I know we have shared this a million times, but I will never get tired of sharing it even more and more and more times. Let's continue praying for our children. Our Father is good, benevolent, always present. If you want an orange from him, he'll give you two. We said that even in thanksgiving, we can ask for more. As we thank God for the gift of our children, we ask him that he may provide for them as they sit for their exams. Day four, we pray for deeper comprehension. Our sons and daughters in Form 4, we are praying for you. It shall be well. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Thursday.